The president who campaigned on ending America's wars. I will get our troops home. We will bring an end to this war. Is now leading the country into a new one. This is what America's prepared to do. Taking action against immediate threats while pursuing a world in which the need for such action is diminished. Wednesday, Obama spoke before the United Nations, not as a peacetime president, but as a commander-in-chief overseeing another foreign war. It's a legacy the Nobel Prize laureate probably never envisioned for himself. Hence the new label the media keeps attaching to his name. He's clearly a reluctant warrior. Obviously a reluctant warrior. He is the reluctant warrior. Granted, it might be a little strange to attach that label now, seeing as he's long supported a robust military strategy. Syria is now the seventh Arab country he's ordered airstrikes in since taking office. Even in 2009, as he picked up his Nobel Prize, Obama offered a vigorous defense of the use of military force when a war is considered just. To say that force may sometimes be necessary is not a call to cynicism, it is a recognition of history, the imperfections of man, and the limits of reason. Reluctant or not, Obama is now a wartime president. In a turn of events, former State Department official Nicholas Burns calls almost Shakespearean. So does Obama consider himself a wartime president? A reporter posed that exact question to him earlier this week. According to the Washington Post, the president smiled, but he did not answer. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, multiple sources of broader view.